Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we will be covering the PvP meta build for the Bard. Now we will be going over all the pros and cons and even if you don't want to be a Bard main, you need to watch this video because I will also be going over the class kit and you will inevitably run into this class in Arena so you need to know how the class functions in order to play against it. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna actually structure this video out because my last video was a little disorganized, so we're gonna do better. So first, we're gonna go over your skill distribution points, and then we're gonna go over our tripod distributions, and then toward the end, I'm gonna show you guys what all these spells look like, and some basic combos, and kind of talk about some of the niche situations you may run into. Okay, so the class identity of the bard, you are a support, not a support, the support. You're by far the best support character in the entire game. You're able to enable your team buttloads better than any other class in Lost Ark. You're a backliner, you're a range support, which makes that even better, but you do have some of the lowest defensive values and also health values in the entire game. But you do have spells to offset that with flat damage mitigation. Okay, so your stat distribution. So you want max 750 into swiftness, and this is debatable. You can either put points into specialization or endurance. That's entirely up to you, and I always put a value point in crit. Okay, so let's start talking about her class identity. So you have Serenade of Courage and also Serenade of Salvation. Nine times out of 10, you will always use Serenade of Salvation because it bubbles your allies and also heals them. Also, the effectiveness of these bubbles and heals are based off of how many bars you have here at the bottom of your screen. There's no harm in casting it even if you do not have three bars because it's PvP, you never know what can happen, but your effectiveness will be reduced. Okay, so let's talk about our ultimate Symphonia. This is an amazing ultimate. You only cast this once per match. So you rise into the air and essentially you give everyone a bubble and also the enemies caught inside take damage. It reduces their attack power, attack speed, and also their movement speed. Plus this grants one bar to your class identity. Okay, next is your bar selection skills. This is what everyone has clicked on this video for. So I will try to keep this short and sweet and to the point. So the top spells are going to be offensive in nature and the bottom spells again will be defensive in nature. So we will go through the abilities one skill at a time, just so I can show you the tripod distribution thereof. So the very first skill we have here is Prelude of Storm. You'll want to go two, one, two. Next, we have Soundaholic, two, one, two. Next is Rhapsody of Light, which is your bread and butter. You're gonna go two, one, two. Next is Rhythmatic Buckshot. You'll want to go two and two. Next, we have Sonic Vibration. You'll go three, three, one. Next, we have Heavenly Tune at two, one, one. Next we have March coming in at 3-3. Three, three. And lastly we have Guardian Tune coming in at 1-1-2. One, one, so let's take a look at Prelude of the Storm. This is an amazing ability because it can pill your teammates and it can help catch people not paying attention. So when you cast it, it stuns for 3 seconds, only 1.5 in PvP, but that allows your team to capitalize on that or you can, again, peel your teammates from getting gone on by a death blade or what have you. So next we have Soundaholic. This is essentially a focus fire. You pick a direction, you hold it down. It does amazing damage up to 700% assuming you take the focus fire morph. Next we have Rhapsody of Light. This is the bread and butter of the kit. So you summon a beautiful sound wave at the target location inflicting holy damage every second for three times. Channeling will cancel the move. Now, Shining Protection. While using Rhapsody of Light, outgoing damage is reduced by minus 50% and incoming damage minus 50%. Incoming damage of other party members within range of 75% for three seconds and creates a shield that absorbs equal to 10% of max HP. This is probably your best skill in the entire kit aside from your ultimate, of course. Cast this on your eyes when they're getting gone on. So hopefully everyone's ball grouped and you can get a really nice Rhapsody of Light off, not only on the enemies, but also your teammates as well. Next we have Sonic Vibration. This is a CC. You can catch people off guard with this and also use it to help peel your teammates. Next we have Rhythmatic Buckshot. Essentially this is just a push effect from when people get close to create you some distance. Next we have Heavenly Tune. This is an amazing buff. Essentially you buff yourself and also your teammates increasing their attack speed and also their MP recovery and it does a little bit of damage. Next we have March. This is probably my favorite skill in the entire kit. Essentially you drop little pebbles on the ground, little notes. If they are near an enemy that will track them, when they get hit, this slow is crippling. It is very debilitating to play against. So when you get hit with this slow, oh, it it sucks, okay? It sucks. 
So one of the most valuable, if not the most valuable skill in the entire kit is called Guardian Tune. So it grants you push immunity, which is a stage one CC immunity, endless protection. If the duration expires, you also get a shield with 15% of your maximum health for eight seconds, plus it blocks one debuffing attack. So here's what that kind of looks like. When you need to go in for a push, this is the ability you want to pop just so you can go in so your DPS players do not get CC or interrupted during their burst combos. So Serenade Salvation, you'll toss this on the ground and all of your allies standing in this will also be healed and getting bubble during the duration. This also stacks off of how many bubbles you have active. And then lastly, we have Symphonia. When you cast this, you go up in the air, you put huge debuffs on your opponent, you buff your allies, what more is there to say? So in closing, the Bard is one of the best support classes in the entire game, an absolute must in any 3v3 user arenas. Of course, you can run other compositions, but you can never go wrong with the Bard. Not only is the Bard very, very viable in PvP, it's also viable in PvE. So if you want to max out this class with what your power passes or whatever, you cannot go wrong. If I left out anything during this video, please let me know down in the comments so I don't make that mistake moving forward. Also, if you want to see the format shifted around, I can also do that as well. If you found any information at all helpful in this video, I would really appreciate a like and sub because it helps the channel a lot, it helps keep me motivated. Before I go, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who help keep this channel afloat. And before I actually go, tell someone you love them, right? This has been Horcrux, have a great day and peace.